Hello, welcome back. In the previous segment, we discussed the computational Dave Hegelman problem. In this segment, we will continue that topic and discuss about an, another variant called decisional Dave Hegelman problem. Okay. Recall that uh, you are having H1 and H2 obtained by G power X1, G power X2 respectively. The computational Dave Hegelman problem was to compute G power X1, X2 from H1, H2, and G. Okay. We talked about this in the previous segment. In this segment, we will make use of this, but we will introduce another problem called decisional defilement, which is a variant of this. So you have a group generator algorithm that takes the order of the group size as input. N is the bit size of the order of the group. Uh, so it will give out a group G, a cyclic group, and uh, order of the group is Q. Q is made of N bits, and G is the generator of the cyclic group. Okay, we talked about all of these in, in the previous segments, so this should be clear for you. Uh, what is the meaning of um, DDH being hard? It, it actually means that suppose you select, say, XYZ randomly from the set ZQ and compute uh, G power X, G power Y, and, uh, and G power XY. Okay. So this is basically this side, right? You feed these parameters to an algorithm, say, an algorithm A, and, that, and ask the algorithm, can you tell whether uh, did I give you G power XY or did I give you just G power Z? Okay, what is G power Z? Z itself is a random number. So Z power Z is also a random number. But G power XY is made of G power X, G power Y mixed together, right? Okay, so when do we say DDH is hard? We say DDH is hard if for all possible algorithms A, A can be an attacker, you can imagine algorithm meaning attacker in this case, um, that uh, they could not distinguish between G power XY uh, and uh, a random number G power Z, okay, with a very negligible probability. So the difference between the probability is negligible in N, meaning if N is very large, this is so small, close to zero. That means uh, no algorithm is able to distinguish between whether did you feed in G power XY or did you feed in G power Z, okay? That's basically the idea of the decisional defilement problem. Okay, now I'll connect all of the different problems we talked about. Okay, so we talked about uh, quite a few problems. First is we talked about discrete logarithm problems. Okay, let's assume discrete logarithm problem is easy for a moment. That means given g power x, you can find x, right? The, okay, that means you can easily solve this problem because all you have to do is uh, take g power x and uh, from g power x magically derive x. Once you know that, then you can check whether uh, did they feed in g power z or g power x y because you know the x. All you have to do is just raise g power y to it. Okay, suppose let's assume now that the discrete logarithm problem is hard. Okay, so in that case from G power X, you can't find X. What if uh, you have this notion of computational defilement problem be, is easy for you? Let's assume from G power X, G power Y, you were magically able to find G power X, Y. Then it's also easy, right? To solve the decisional defilement problem. Uh, all you have to do is from G power X, G power Y, derive G power X, Y. And now you know whether the third argument here, th this argument is different from a random number like this, okay? So to summarize, if the DL problem, discrete logarithm problem is easy, then of course, both computational Debye Hillman problem is easy and DDH is also easy. Then you can immediately tell that decision Debye Hillman problem is also easy, right? Because you know from G power X, G power Y, how to compute G power X, Y, because I assumed that the computational Debye Hillman problem is also easy, okay? But the interesting fact is that in case Debye Hillman problem is hard, uh, or the computational defilement problem is also hard, or both both are hard. We, it could be possible that the decision defilement problem is actually not hard. Okay, that, that is an interesting fact. Um, I'm going to talk about why it is the case. Meaning, uh, let's say instead of this being hard, uh, easy, let's replace easy by hard. Okay, meaning both computational defilement problem and discrete logarithm are hard in, in a particular group that you're working with. But it doesn't imply, okay, it doesn't imply DDH is also hard. That's an interesting fact to, to, to note. And in one of the future segments, when I go deeper into quadratic issue concept, I will show to you that a decision difficult problem is actually easy in some groups, okay? Even though in those groups, computational difficult problem and discrete logarithm problems are actually hard. All right, that's basically it for today. Thank you.